We have some breaking and amazing news in the Canva world. Leonardo AI is now in Canva. Well, kind of. And it was only a matter of time. But is it just as good as Leonardo AI? Or does it still need some improvements? Canva just dropped a massive update and it's called Droptober. And they've unveiled some of their most innovative products yet. And the most amazing one is called Dream Lab, a photorealistic AI image generator powered by Leonardo AI. But it doesn't end there because there are so many any other new updates and new additions that were also just released. And from what I'm hearing, this is only just the beginning. So if you don't have Canva Pro, I highly recommend you get it today. There's a link in the description for a 30 day free trial. Now, before we dive right into Dream Lab, let's first go over some of the other new additions as well. Now, there are gonna be some amazing ones in here that are definitely gonna be my favorite. So this is their new feature page right here. And then as I go down, you can see right here, here is Dream Lab. But first, like I said, let's go back up and and take a look at some of these new additions. So one of the newest improvements and new features we have is gonna be in Magic Write. Magic Write is incredible. If you haven't seen this video, make sure you check this one out because I'll teach you how to turn Canva Magic Write into a prompt generating machine. But perhaps one of the most exciting ones that I'm looking forward to the most is gonna be the new update and feature in mockups. And so you can see right here, this also says coming soon, but it's gonna be very powerful. You can create your own mockup with your own personal image. Image. All right, so let's quickly hover over the new update in Magic Write. So I have text right here. After you highlight the text, there's this new feature called This But. Select that, and then you could say any sort of new update that you want. You can say more interesting, more fun, etc., and then add it below. Within the same context, you're gonna be able to make your text that much better. So we're gonna have Meet the Supercharged Magic Write. Then we discussed earlier going from Brainstorm to Action Plan with whiteboards. And then we also have Interactive charts, new animation effects for both video and photo, and then we're going to have create high production videos with art list. Scrolling over, we have make your design, sing with popular music tracks, so you can explore new templates featuring viral hits from popular artists. Meet the small business work kit, student work kit, and even a teacher work kit. And then as we scroll down here, we have the new Disney collection, where you could see a ton of pre-populated designs all ready to go go with some of the most popular Disney characters. But we don't have time to see everything in one video, so make sure you check back soon because there will definitely be a secondary video going over these in more depth. So now let's go ahead and then check out Dream Lab. After that, stick around because I want to also show you some new prompts specifically to use in Canva Magic Write. So with that said, I do want to give you a quick preview and a quick update specifically when it comes to my Leonardo AI prompts database. Now in the past, I only had a set section called Canva in my Mega Prompts database. But now it only makes sense to add it in Leonardo. After all, Canva and Leonardo are now merged together. That is why I added this brand new tab in my Leonardo database and it's called Canva. And if you don't have access to it, check the links in the description for the most incredible prompts databases. This is going to be an eight prompt style generator. In fact, we're going to actually try this one out today in real time together. And then I'm going to take these prompts that it provided me and then really test these out in Dream Lab itself. It's automatically going to provide eight amazing AI image prompts. Enough about that. Now let's head over to Dream Lab. Now you can see I've already been making a few images, okay? But let's go ahead and then try a few together. This is the image I got in Leonardo AI. Fantastic image. Let's go ahead and copy this whole entire thing just like that. But also remember, we're also going to use the prompt generator in Canva Magic and then get a series of eight other prompts to test out as well. Now you'll notice right away, right off the bat, we're going to have a few options. Okay, we have options that we want our photos to look like. Then again, we're going to have our different aspect ratios. Let's go ahead and select this four to three. I'll leave it on smart for now. If we can't get exactly what we were looking for, we'll try a few different variations. Okay, the other helpful thing that you're going to notice is over here in the top right hand corner, there's a number called 495. So if you're on the pro plan, I do believe everybody should start with 500. Every image that you generate is going to only cost one credit. That's not bad at all. Then when we're done, compare a nose, then the fun process will begin. Now, one thing I do want to mention, I have been getting this quite a lot, where it says lots of people are using Dream Lab right now. Please try again in a few minutes. So it is a brand new release right now. So if you do encounter that, it is going to continue to happen. So I would come back and revisit, which is exactly what we're going to do in a second. I
Okay, so it looks like this one is done. Now, right off the bat, I'll tell you, this does actually look pretty good. If you'll notice that right here, there's another notification that popped up where it says, oops, this generation may not meet our policies. Now, the reason that is the case, because I actually use the words Darth Vader, which depending upon what AI generator you use, you can or cannot use specific brand names or character names. However, as I scroll up, you'll see that I changed my prompt to a dark night instead, and I was able to get these images that you see right here. Now, for reference, here is going to be my original image right here, which does look pretty amazing. Like I said, this was done in actually Leonardo AI. So let's go ahead and get rid of that image. That's going to be our reference point. Let's go ahead and take a look at these images we got right here for Canva. Okay, not bad at all. Now, remember, it's going to be a little bit different because I had the change from Darth Vader to Dark Knight. This does look pretty good. Not bad. Now, again, this one's not bad. It's definitely not cinematic, and that's probably because I just chose smart. So I'm going to get these different variations, whereas this first one is is going to look more photorealistic. However, this one is pretty good. And now the fourth one is probably going to be my favorite. Now, one of the things I do love about this is that any single element or AI art that you create in Dream Lab is going to be available to instantly be used in a design. So if I like this image, for an example, I could select use in a design and automatically it's going to populate and open up a brand new editor to where I can come in here and now quickly add my own character characteristics. So if I select like text, for an example, I can just select any form of text. And now I have this completely in here. Okay. But also notice this in each image, we're going to have this purple edit button. What happens if you click that again, it's going to do the same thing. If you click it, it's going to take you to a new place to edit, but check this out. Now, since I used edit in my button, I have all of these amazing magic studio options that I can use. So for an example, let's go ahead and then use magic grab. Now watch this two options. I have click and brush with click selected. Let's hover over our item that we want to grab. Look, it automatically detects my dark night. Click that and now select grab. Watch this in a few seconds. I'm going to be able to detach this actual dark night from the image itself. Check this out. Goodbye. And now let's say I want to delete that other image. Now I have the night in here all by itself and let's give it a completely new background. Let's say I want to bring my dark night into this image. I did earlier of Batman, we can go ahead and expand this, kind of resize it a little bit. Now we have Batman right there. Change the positioning up by moving my Dark Knight to the top. And now look at this. Look at this. Now I'm going to have my Dark Knight having a little bit of a face off with Batman right there. That's pretty incredible stuff. I love the one click button aspect to quickly edit my photos. Okay. Now, the image did a pretty good job, okay? Now, there are instances where it really didn't do that good of a job. Now, again, this is new, and just like you, I'm just starting to use this myself. So it could be user error, where I'm not using the specific options I should be, maybe by keeping it on smart. If you want a specific look, change it from smart to any other sort of characteristic you're looking for. Okay, but now let's go ahead and take things up a notch and let's go to now Canva and try this actual prompt generator. This one is gonna be called eight prompt style generator, okay? If I can expand it, you can see the whole thing right here. Okay, again, expand it again. And now let's come in here and now just copy this whole entire prompt just like this. And now we're gonna utilize the supercharged magic right. If I select try magic right, it's gonna automatically take me to this page right here, which is gonna be extremely helpful because on the right hand side now, it's gonna give me these very helpful steps to quickly get started. Then click on that little pencil icon in magic right. From there, you can select custom prompts and paste your specific prompt, click generate. And now you can add a simple prompt to this, but then use that new button that I talked about earlier called this, but try to say that five times fast is going to allow you to refine your prompt or your text. What's going to be so helpful about that is that you're going to be able to get an unlimited amount of prompts directly from within magic right itself. So for an example, you could take any of my prompts that you see right here on your screen. Okay. And then just like that, hit this butt and get even more and more variations. All right, so that's going to be the quick overview if you're not too familiar with Magic Right quite yet. But let's go ahead and then just open up a brand new doc. Now, right away, I can select Magic Right. You see it up here at the very top. And I love how instantly we're going to get all these other options right here. By selecting Magic Right, you could see it, okay? Brainstorm idea, paragraph generator. We have all these amazing options just right off the bat that we can get. We even have product description 
descriptions. However, the first thing we're going to do is first we're going to use just the prompt replace that we the just copied. With anything there is want. the long Instantly, prompt right we're gonna there. Get these eight now prompts. remember, towards the bottom, just replace the subject with anything that you want. Okay, in the bracketed text, let's remove the words your subject and now put something else completely different. Okay, so I just said uh, superhero at night. Instantly, look at this right here. Based off of the prompt itself. Now remember, my prompt has specific styles starting from anime. But look at this. Instantly, we're gonna get these eight prompts. Anime style, a superhero silhouetted against a moonlit cityscape. Okay, and then we're gonna have ones for creative style all the way down to environment, illustration, and then finally 3D rendering style. Let's go ahead and simply copy one of these very quickly and try this out in Dream Lab. But watch this. With this already highlighted, let's go ahead and try the this but button. There we go. This but. So now, what should we put here instead? Okay, replace superhero with supercar. And look, just like that, it's going to take the whole thing, actually, and every single prompt is going to be replaced with supercar. Let's say make longer with more vivid details. Okay, absolutely. Let's amplify the vivid details and let's take a look at these prompts. Okay, amazing. It looks like it did a pretty good job because we're going to have the prompt is definitely longer. Now we're going to get some specific keywords that will give me what I'm looking for. And then we're going to have, again, a scene that feels alive and electric. Okay, so it looks like it did a pretty good job giving me what we were needing. Okay, I'm pretty excited about that. Now let's go ahead and then try one more prompt again. Okay, now watch this. This is going to be how you can get infinite prompts in Canva. Go ahead and copy this whole thing right here, okay? Once that's copied, let's head back over here and simply just paste in the whole entire prompt right here. I'm gonna make the text a little bit larger so we can all see this, okay? There is gonna be the whole prompt right there, but this is not actually where I'm gonna put this. I am now gonna copy this right here, and remember, after it's copied, select Magic Write, okay? Because you wanna make sure you're prompting in this Magic Write box right here. Now I'm pasting the prompt in. Now remember, at the very end, you have to put your subject or your prompt. For this one, you can be as generic and as basic as you want. Okay, we're just going to say a uh, panda bear in a rainforest. Now select generate. Now watch this. Instantly, it's going to do exactly what we were looking for. It's going to give us these 10 prompts that are going to be pretty effective. Now, again, let's go ahead and do this but and say make longer more descriptive, okay? Which will then transform our just single one sentence prompts to one that are gonna be a lot more vivid and detailed. Perfect, this is exactly what we were looking for. If we like these, we have a few options. I can go ahead and copy it, or I can select this insert, and now it's gonna actually insert the whole entire prompt process directly from within my document itself. There we have it, there are gonna be all 10. Now, watch this. Now let's go ahead and highlight all 10 of these, okay? Now, everything is highlighted. Now, here's where the fun is going to really come to place. Now, select this Magic Write pencil right here. It's going to automatically detect that you have text highlighted. Select that icon. Now, look at this. These options are going to be incredible to use. We have continue writing, shorten, rewrite, okay? But now, we're going to have custom prompt. Let's go ahead and open this up, okay? We can say turn this into a list. What I'm going to say is I'm going to say turn this into a story. Now, look at this. I'm going to select generate based off of everything I highlighted. Look at this. It's going to transform all 10 of these prompts into a story based off of my simple subject, a panda bear in the rainforest. Let's go ahead and just copy this first one right here and now select that magic right pencil again and now go to custom prompt. Now we're getting even more detailed. I said create 10 more prompts like this, but now make it cinematic. Instead of a panda bear, a beautiful woman lost in space. Let's go ahead and select generate and now look at this right there. It's instantly going to give me everything I was looking for, and it's going to do it much faster, okay? Look at this, number nine, for an example, everything I wanted, okay? This, but. So what I'll do now is that I'm going to say in each prompt, include that it was shot on a Canon EOS 5 camera. Let's see if you can understand that. Beautiful. Now, keep that in mind because that specific camera, the Canon EOS 5, does produce some good-looking AI images when used in your prompt. Now, remember, hit that subscribe button because I'll have to do even further deeper dive specifically with magic right because you could use this in so many creative ways specifically for prompting and let's open up these right here okay not bad that looks pretty cool that looks good that looks very
very good actually, much, much better. This one is actually good as well, very good job. If I select download, it's gonna open up this page, I can save to images downloads, and I'm pretty happy with that result. So that is why having a very detailed and descriptive prompt like this, and then specifically knowing what specific keywords to use in your actual prompt, that is gonna be so helpful and so important to when you use Canva Dream Lab. Canva and Leonardo finally integrated together. However, there still needs to be a little bit of an improvement, but for the very first integration, I definitely know things are only gonna get better from here. And please make sure you hit that subscribe button because there will be a lot more videos diving deeper into all these new Canva features.